this. So what does the stats report say about Moderna's study? Good morning, Nara. Well, what a difference, I have to say, 24 hours makes. We were here yesterday talking about the fact that Moderna had this record high in the market, but there seems to be some cold water with this health publication stat. We should note as well, Bloomberg did say yesterday the results should be viewed with caution. One thing Stat highlighted, the early nature of the vaccine, it said mo most of what Moderna disclosed was words, not data. It cited the lack of a press release from the U.S. National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases. And on top of that, the report also cited experts who said we have to take this with a grain of salt. They were waiting to see more data. It's clear from the scientific community that data is going to lead and what they view as hopeful instead of words. Um, but Nara, we've seen this before. We talked about this with Gilead. There just seems to be any glimmer of hope in, the, in, in any of these vaccines we're seeing around the world. The market really takes that on with stride because any chance of getting a vaccine really does mean economies could be lifted and go back to life before the pandemic. Yeah, we, we, none of us should really under, undermine the, the palpable sense of relief that you would get if somebody says to you, I've got something that can help possibly shift 20 million people, 36 million people from, from unemployment queues. So, so I think that's why markets move. But to the White House and the president, he now argues, Amory, good morning, by the way, um, that the U.S. is a badge of honor. Why? Good morning, Manis. Uh, he's talking about really pushing his narrative, saying that the U.S., which has more than 1.5 million cases, leads the world in terms of coronavirus cases. He says that it's a badge of honor because it reflects how much the U.S. is testing. So that was kind of his narrative. This has to do with the U.S. testing. But contrary to what the President of the United States is saying, is the U.S. is not extraordinary when it comes to testing. Our data shows that the U.S. is falling behind the U.K., Italy, and Germany. We look at the testing per 1,000 people. Now, President Donald Trump was answering a question when he made this comment about whether or not he was going to block visitors from Brazil. Brazil, in the past few days, it has overtaken Spain, Italy, and the U.K. It is now third in the world when it comes to coronavirus cases. And President Donald Trump said he is considering that ban on Brazil. Brazil is really going to be one to watch. It was really chaotic in their response, and many are saying it is just going to get worse. President Bolsonaro had fired the health minister last month, and the replacement for that health minister resigned last week. So really <clears throat> a chaotic situation in Brazil, and you could see the infection numbers are just ticking higher.